um, obviously the highs would be making the debut uh, 100%. Um, um, getting a win was huge. I mean, I'm glad the team was able to pull it out. I mean, that was a, a slugfest by the offense. Uh, pretty impressive there. Um, just came in to try and do what I could. Um, obviously, the lows was um, coming out with injury. Uh, no one wants to do that. So, what did, uh, what did Nick tell you uh, afterward? Uh, just going to shut down for a little while? Or is it, there going to be any more tests or? or um, yeah, I'll be reevaluated tomorrow. Um, initially, thinks it's a, it could be a form strain, but obviously, we don't we don't know until the further evaluation. Um, possibly an MRI and we get back to Kansas City or something like that. So that's that's as far as I know. That's that's all I know. How does it feel right now? Um it's it's tough to say. Um with you know the adrenaline going and stuff, but it wasn't bad. Um but now it's you know have after having ice and stuff on it, it's it's tight. But other than that I haven't been you know putting it in spots to where I want to test it. I mean I'll let the training staff put my trust in them and let them uh, evaluate tomorrow and let me know. Thanks, Foster. Foster, uh, Mike was saying how you've been relatively healthy your entire career. Is that the case? Is this kind of a new, new territory for you? Uh, very. Um, yeah. So day one, this happens. And been healthy my whole career. So it wasn't easy. Thanks. Hang in there, man. Guys, everybody okay now? Yeah. Well, you could hear the, the voice catching there, and you, you don't hear hear that too often from athletes but but that was it I mean I think that's what's gone through all of our heads and I don't care if it's the Royals team or someone else's team we all know and I think every fan knows these guys work their whole lives to accomplish this dream and Monty we've seen it before I don't know what's gonna happen with Foster's career but we've seen it before where guys work so hard to get here they get one crack and they go back or they have this amazing career or something in between this was finally his moment I, I'm sure there'll be more but you could just hear the emotion. Well, it's concern. I remember my very first professional season, the last game I pitched, and I felt something in my elbow. And you have to sit there during the entire offseason just with that uncertainty. And like he was saying, I didn't really want to test it until the trainers give me the go ahead to, you know, to, to see what it's like. Very difficult to tell what it's going to be. But I, I have a good feeling that, you know, once he lets this thing cool down, once the trainers get a chance to rehab him a little bit and, you know, work their magic with regards to treatment, uh, I, I would say there's a good chance he's going to be fine. But you're so concerned as an athlete when you've worked so hard, you know, to get this opportunity and get to this level. And guess what? Anytime you're starting to deal with a forearm, every pitcher gets scared because you think about worst case scenario. But, you know, maybe it's just a little bit of a setback and we see Foster in there. But congratulations, first and foremost, on just making it to the big leagues. What an accomplishment. And then to be able to pitch well and get the win. He's checked all of those off.